I done ate my food. I'm full. I'm satisfied. We about to do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of the video and by the uniform that I'm wearing, this is going to be my everyday makeup in uniform. I wanted to do an updated version of this video because I remember I did one a long time ago and I mean like a long time ago because we weren't even wearing this uniform when I made that video. We were wearing the old uniform. So I thought that I would come on here and just update you guys on how I do my makeup every day in uniform. Now, this is not what I do every single day because some days I don't wear makeup because I just don't feel like it. And then some days I don't wear makeup because we have training and things like that going on. Things that kind of prevent me from wearing makeup. But when I do wear makeup, which is most days, I'm not even gonna lie, this is typically what I go for. And I just wanted to show you guys what I do. Big, big disclaimer okay this is what i personally do this is what i personally like this is what i personally have time for i know that this is not going to be suitable for everybody not everybody has the time not everybody has the patience not everybody wants to wear makeup in uniform this is just what i do this is what i love i love makeup so i'm gonna wear it regardless in my uniform and yeah just always remember that AR670-1 states that you can wear makeup in uniform just as long as it is conservative and modestly applied. Y'all already know the drill, so I'll talk more about that in the video. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I do my makeup in uniform, then just keep on watching. I need my tunes. Okay. So normally I never do my eyebrows on camera just because I don't do my eyebrows on camera. But for the sake of this video, I am going to do my eyebrows, but I'm gonna speed up the clip. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I use for my eyebrows and then I'm gonna do them. Um, oh, and by the way, I am gonna fix my hair at the end of this video. So don't be looking at my hair like that's how you go to work because it ain't. Okay, so I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Auburn for my eyebrows because my hair is lightened. So this is like a warm brown color and I use that to go ahead and draw the shape and then fill it in. And then I clean it up with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer in the shade Deep Olive. And after I clean it up, I go in with the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder in the shade number five. And I just use the lighter color to basically outline my brows even more so I get that super crisp, sharp, Instagram worthy type of eyebrow. And then I use my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel for my eyebrows. So I'm gonna zoom in and y'all just gonna watch me do my eyebrows because it takes way too long to do eyebrows.
Okay, so I just wanna explain really quick why I use the Benefit Brow Powder. So I get really close to my eyebrows when I clean them up with the concealer and I feel like that like I lose my definition in my eyebrows when I do that. So that's why I like to go back in with this brow powder and it is darker than the Auburn actual dip brow. So I feel like it gives my eyebrows a lot of definition and makes them look really, really neat. And you guys will see that in a second. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but they just have a little, a little bit more definition from me putting that powder underneath of them. And like, I know y'all are probably like, that takes too much time but for me it takes literally no time at all so now i'm just going to go ahead and set my eyebrows with my eyebrow gel and i feel like this is an absolute necessary must step for my eyebrows to look complete like i don't know i just feel like look at the difference i don't know i just feel like it it makes a big difference for me to actually set my eyebrows because it like it really defines the hair and it keeps the hair going in one direction and that's how i do our eyebrows and like i get compliments on my eyebrows all the time at work so that's how i like to do my eyebrows now we can move on to eyeshadow okay so i'm just going to use any eyeshadow primer to prime my eyes and then set it with a translucent powder and i change my eyeshadow a lot because Y'all know I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I love eyeshadow palettes. So I don't always do the exact same look all the time because I use different palettes. But I do feel the most professional and like put together when I do an all matte eyeshadow look in uniform. So that's what I'm going to be doing today for y'all. And I'm going to be using this pure out of the blue eyeshadow palette. And all of the colors that's in this palette are not all the shadows that came with this palette. As you can see, you can change the eyeshadows out. So that's what I did. I changed this palette and customized it to my liking. And this is like my ultimate spring type of palette. So I'm just going to be using these three eyeshadows up here to do my everyday eyeshadow look. All right, so I'm just gonna be using a Wet n Wild fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna be taking this first shade here called Note to Self. It is also in the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It's a ColourPop eyeshadow. Um, I just have it as a single, but they have it inside the Yes Please palette and I'm just gonna blend this into my crease and my outer corner and all over my lid. So, okay, so Brand makeup and uniform is really a touchy subject because the regulation just states that it needs to be applied modestly and conservatively and it needs to not contrast with your skin tone and it needs to not take away from the uniform. And it says that leaders at all levels have to have good judgment when enforcing that policy. You know what I'm saying? So me being a leader, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem when females wear makeup and I've seen females wear makeup, you know, and it looks really, really good. And I've seen females wear makeup where it looks really, really bad and it's like really extreme. So, you know, I just feel like it's a very touchy subject because it's like, well, what you consider modest and what I consider modest can be two different things you know what i'm saying especially when you're a person who doesn't actually wear makeup or you don't really know anything about makeup to you just wearing concealer and foundation could be you know too much you might think that that's too much or it's like extra to be wearing to work or something like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know and i feel like a lot of times when i get told something about my makeup is usually from people who are biased I feel like that policy is just very vague. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the shade next to it. And this color 
actually came with this palette like it's one of the original colors from this palette and I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M505 brush and I'm just gonna put that on my outer corner and into my crease to give it a little bit more definition so for me I've been wearing makeup literally since I came in the army like I was wearing makeup when I was in AIT like I was not playing as soon as I found out that the regulation said that you could wear makeup i was like oh bet like shoot i'm about to be um slaying this face okay and that was back when i didn't even do a whole lot of makeup i would do foundation and i would put on some blush and i would do some eyeshadow mascara and lip gloss like i was not wearing as much as i wear now and it was very conservative So now I'm going to take the lightest shade right here and I'm going to use that to put all over my lid as well as highlight my brow bone. Like sometimes on my lid I'll use a satin eyeshadow like um, I have one from Colourpop that I really like. This is the shade Glisten from the Kathleen Lights. Um, collection I'll put that on my lid because it's a really nice uh, satin finish eyeshadow it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it looks really good on the lid as well but like I said today I'm just gonna do the all matte look because I, I don't know I just think it looks more clean and professional with the uniform but y'all know I love me a shimmer on the lid so you know like halfway through the week I'll wear like a shimmer or whatever I'm just using a brown eyeliner to put in my waterline. I do understand why some people would feel like it's unnecessary. You don't have to wear it to work. But it's just like, for me, listen, we all look the same, like, uniformity as it is. You know, we all have the same uniform that we wear every single day. I basically wear the same hairstyle every single day because it doesn't matter if I have on a wig or my natural hair you know if it's long it has to be pulled back so basically wearing the same thing every day makeup is my way to do something different so I'm gonna put on my mascara first and then I'm going to line my top eyes with this Marc Jacobs brown eyeliner then we'll move on to the face okay so this is usually what the eyes look like um until i go ahead and do my lower lash line but we're gonna move on to the face so i'm going to be using this nyx tea tree balance uh serum slash primer and it actually works really good it has tea tree oil in it so i feel like it helps me not get any breakouts when wearing my foundation and stuff so I'm going to use one of my favorite foundations. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And I feel like this foundation just looks really good. It looks like skin. It is so flawless. And I mean, like, even though it doesn't have the fullest coverage, I feel like it just makes your skin look how it should when you're wearing makeup it's so breathable it's so lightweight it's just a great foundation i've talked about it in favorites videos before so yeah i really enjoy this foundation but i feel like you know if you want to wear makeup in uniform then wear it regardless of what people are going to say you know regardless if they're going to be like oh you're trying to impress and this that and a third yo they put it in the regulation that you can wear it for a reason so you know just wear it and be confident when you wear it you know what i'm saying oh, i'm just using that same elf concealer to highlight my face and then again like i said like it takes me no time at all to do this because i do it so much so now i'm going to go ahead and set all of that i'm going to be using this nyx high definition concealer in the shade banana and i'm not gonna go too ham with this because this really highlights your face but i am gonna just put it in all the places where i put that concealer and then i'm blending it in then i'm gonna go in with my blush and for my blush i use this one from elf this is my everyday blush this is the um dark blush palette and i just swirl that in 
and lightly apply it to my cheeks. To bronze, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. As y'all can see, these are like my everyday products because they are like practically done. I'm just gonna take an angle brush and go ahead and add some color to my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some on the sides of my nose and the bottom of my nose just for that snatched nose look. And then I like to spray my face. Where is it? Oh, yes, with the um, Wet n Wild Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. The highlight that I'm going to be using today is from the BH Cosmetics. It's my Rare palette and it's this one right here called Radiant. And I just take a little bit of that and put it right on the high points of my cheeks, on my brow bone, and on my forehead by my brows. And then also down my nose. I like to put it on my inner corner with just like a little pencil brush. And I do like to highlight my inner corner a lot because um, it is an all matte look and I just like how the inner corner highlight gives it something extra. And then to finish up my lower lash line, I just throw note to self on my lower lash line and I just go ahead and put on some bottom mascara and I'm going to be using the ColourPop BFF mascara for my bottom lashes because I just like the way it makes my bottom lashes look okay so the last thing we have is the lips and for work I always 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 do a glossy lip I don't know I just do not like the way matte lips look when I'm in uniform so it's like never that you will see me with a matte lip. I use the NYX lip liner in Nutmeg to outline my lips. I'm going to use this Bite Beauty mini lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. And then over top of that, I'm going to apply this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix my hair and put on my top. And yeah, this look will be complete. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and slicked my hair down and this is what we're looking like so my final touch or a final step before i leave out of the house is for me to spray my face with my makeup revolution sport fix extra hole setting spray because your girl be needing this to last all the way until 1700 okay yes and i drown my face in it so this is it, you guys. This is how I do my everyday makeup for work in uniform. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you already know, give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more military style videos. I've already done two military vlogs on my channel, which I will link for you guys. It's basically just like a day in the life, kind of what I do on a daily basis and you know, just talking to you guys a little bit while I'm at work and in my uniform because I know a lot of people don't even know that I'm in the army because I don't really talk about it on my channel that much, but I'm trying to like incorporate more videos that's like military style. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what y'all want to see. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell notification so that you are notified every single time that I upload a video and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.